It's that time of the year again when Codemasters releases a new racing sim based on the official Formula 1 and Formula 2 championships. F123 is based on the 2023 season and launches on June 16th for Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, PS4, PS5, and PC. After last year's underwhelming showing, what's new this year? Let's look at 13 things you should know. Breaking Point 2 this year's iteration sees the return of Breaking Point, with Aiden Jackson and Devon Butler returning as part of the new Connor Sport racing team. This time around, Devon's sister, Callie Meyer, is in the spotlight as an F2 championship winner debuting in Formula One. Family drama and other intrigue are promised along with various twists and turns. However, you can also make different decisions to raise your performance or reputation, which affects dialogue choices during pressers, and leads to unique bonus objectives in the next race based on your answer. Whether you'll encounter branching decisions or any major effects on the story remains to be seen. Updated 2023 Cars as players control updated 2023 cars, Codemasters promises a better balance between tire grip and aerodynamics. Improved traction from the new physics should make cornering, braking, and handling feel better. Previews for these changes to traction and acceleration sound positive, but it's easier for wheels to lock up while braking. You'll need to readjust how you approach suspension, brake pressure, and so on when setting up your car for the best results. Precision Drive Another major change to the controls relates directly to your input device of choice. Precision Drive promises that controller users will have, quote, a more direct feel for greater accuracy, end quote, which should be noticeable in every situation and cater to several driving styles. Of course, how it'll compare to the traditional racing wheel setup remains to be seen, but it's a nice option for controller-focused players to have. F1 World Remember how F122 introduced F1 Life, adding nothing but some interiors and customizable furniture that your avatar could hang out in? F1 World builds on that legacy, featuring the same main menus where avatars, including your online friends, hang out in interiors of your choice. However, this time it seeks to ease new players in with different events, eventually unlocking new, increasingly difficult challenges in solo and multiplayer modes. You also have weekly Grand Prix and scenarios, which replace featured events. New race suits, liveries, and helmets can be unlocked as you progress. License Level F1 World also adds a new safety rating system determined by your license level. Race cleanly and follow the rules, whether you're playing through series events and you'll see it improve. Comprising ranks A through D, you'll gain access to different options at each, like full damage at rank A and collisions disabled in multiplayer at rank D. You can also disable it during custom games or race at lower license levels for a more relaxed experience. New Circuits F123 features two new tracks, the Las Vegas Street Circuit and the Lucille International Circuit. The former is created using thousands of reference photos and substantial photogrammetry data to offer an authentic experience, even before it's raced in the real world, as per Electronic Arts. Lucille, on the other hand, had, quote, official FOM, computer-aided design combined with ArcGIS World Atlas aerial imagery, height data, and photogrammetry, end quote used to capture the track. Aside from these, you can look forward to tracks like Circuit Paul Ricard, the Algarve International Circuit, and Shanghai International Circuit, even though they're not in the 2023 calendar. VR Mode Following its introduction in last year's game, Virtual Reality Mode returns in F123. How exactly it's changed in this year's release remains unknown, but one thing is for sure, it won't be available for PlayStation VR 2. Whether this will change down the line is also yet to be confirmed. In the meantime, the PC version is the only place you can play in VR. Red Flags Red Flags return in F123, adding more drama to a race. They can occur during weather conditions like extreme rain, the AI, or other drivers while playing online. Depending on the incident, you'll need to repair your vehicle, change tires, and much more, altering the overall race strategy although there are settings to adjust red flags if they're too oppressive. 35% Race Distance 
Another new feature is the introduction of 35% race distance, which requires less time investment compared to the 100%. 50% and 25% options in F1 23. Mandatory pit stops still apply, but this should provide an interesting change of pace for the player base at large. $70 price tag on consoles. Unfortunately for players on all consoles, F1 23 will retail for $70, as opposed to last year when the previous gen version cost $60 and the current gen retailed for $70. However, PC players who paid $60 for last year's standard edition will also need to pay $70 for this year's title. On the bright side, if you could call it that, pre-orders get the F1 World Starter Pack and 5,000 Bitcoin for in-game spending. Dual Entitlement while the pricing for all consoles is annoying, there is a silver lining. Purchasing the game on Xbox or PlayStation grants dual entitlement, which means you'll own it on both PS4 and PS5, as well as Xbox Series X and S and Xbox One. Smart delivery is also supported on Xbox, so save data should carry over between generations. The same should apply to PlayStation as well. Yes, it would have been better to have it at $60, but at least you'll get it across both generations without fuss. Cross-platform play. Regardless of your platform, cross-platform play is confirmed, allowing Xbox, PlayStation, and PC players to play together. However, there's the question of whether it will be available at launch. F122 also promised cross-play, but released it after launch. Codemasters hasn't explicitly confirmed it, so we'll have to wait and see. Split-screen multiplayer is also returning, so you can still play with your friends locally. PC requirements. If your computer sat well with F122's PC requirements, then good news. F123's are more or less the same. You'll need Windows 10, 64-bit, version 21H1 or higher, 80 gigs of installation space, and DirectX 12, regardless of your other hardware. The minimum hardware required includes an AMD FX4300 or Intel Core i3 2130, 8 gigs of RAM, and a Radeon RX 470 or GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. For VR, you'll need a Ryzen 5 2600X or Core i5 9600K and an RX 590 or GTX 1660Ti. Ray tracing requires a Radeon RX 6700 XT or a GeForce RTX 2060. The recommended requirements include a Ryzen 5 2600X or a Core i5 9600K, 16 gigs of RAM and RX 590 or GTX 1660Ti. VR requires an RX 6700 XT or RTX 2070, while ray tracing at these settings demands a Radeon RX 6800 or GeForce RTX 3070. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.